to call back. He was the surprise star of the controversial TV game show. Now Mr No Bingo himself is embarking on a new career and he wants your vote. There is no... You may know him as the crazy caller on that game show. Bingo, bingo, bingo! As the Ridgy Didge Indian chef on that ad. Chock-a-block full of top-notch ingredients. As a stand-up comic. <laughs> as your local doctor. So just take some deep breaths for me. Or as a former SBS reporter. Billion dollar industry in pet snake trade. Now meet Tanvi Ahmed, the aspiring politician. Well, the next step is politics, Elise. Politics? Why? Look, I think that's where it's at. Patient, doctor. We first met Tanvir, a.k.a. Mr. No Bingo, late last year, when a current affair uncovered one of the greatest cons ever played on the Australian viewing public. And every week when I play, I seem to get four numbers out in every game. Every week I miss by one. Our numbers expert even predicted the winning numbers. 56 will come up for sure. D56. Wow, 56. 56. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Okay. Eight months on, Tanvi Ahmed has left Ooh. that show. His alter ego and the Indian accent far behind for the bright lights of local politics. That's where you can really make a difference. But I mean, also, I mean, people have said politics is uh, showbiz by alternate means. But are you afraid you won't be taken seriously enough? I think people take that on board and think, oh, he's pretty interesting. He's got, the, he's got that side, but he's also got this side. So I actually think it'll be of benefit to me. It can be very bland, um, politics. Uh, I certainly hope to bring uh, a bit more spark and charisma uh, to the game. That wouldn't be hard. <laughs> Vote one for 10 years. Let's take that spark and charisma out on the hustings. The council, Marrickville, in Sydney's inner west. The constituents, well, rather confused. Would you vote for him? Do you remember being from the game show? Did you ever watch the game show, National? I Singer? did, I did too. Yeah, yeah you yeah. won it. You won it. Yeah, you yeah. were a very smart man. Now I'm convinced the show is rigged. I didn't know you won it as well. <laughs> There is no doubt one thing precedes this Muslim from Bangladesh. Oh, no, bingo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't only watched it once. No, bingo. No, bingo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, bingo. No, bingo. Yeah, I love it. Bingo, something. Oh, bingo, you got it. He's the right man for politics. We need more people with charisma and independence and bingo. He just might get elected. From footy to federal politics, oh, no, Phil no, Cleary no, knows a thing or two about charisma on the campaign trail. And Mr Ahmed, once he explains that he's got some skill and some knowledge and he's a doctor and the like, I think people are won by that. Well, quite often the, the celebrity candidate has an immediate appeal because they've got recognition before they enter politics and therefore they're in there with a start over the rest of the field. Bruce Hawker, spin doctor from Hawker Britain. I think we need to get people into politics constantly who have got character, who have got qualities that people say, well, actually, that's a bit different uh, and it's a bit outspoken, but, you know, we like it. Tanvi Ahmed's getting the hang of his campaign biz, helping little old ladies across the road. He looks like a politician. Oh, well. Yeah. Hey. Well, I appreciate that. Member for Marrickville? Yep. Good You're a TV presenter, so what do you know about government? Maybe you wouldn't, I wouldn't take you seriously because you're a funny guy. Why should I vote for you? Um, I think I bring a wide variety of experience. Um, I think uh, a very sincere, uh, very passionate about issues. Oh, come on, Tanvir. With all due respect, that is a very boring answer. Am I become a politician already? You have. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you vote for him? Oh, absolutely. Very kind, gentle face. He looks like an honest man. Looks like an honest man. Well, that's not going to cut it in politics. <laughs> Are you an honest man? No, I am. But, no? yeah, there aren't too many honest men left. Which brings us to that question. Yeah. Now, come on. Now it's done and dusted. Was the bingo show rigged? No, it wasn't rigged. <laughs> And Tanvir is running as a Liberal candidate in the next New South Wales local government elections on September the 13th. Well, they call it a sand grab when wealthy waterfront property...